Hi, this is Specialist Components video. I'm going to be talking about our latest product, which is an MG Turbo EFI kit, which is a really comprehensive kit. We've got a demo car here running it, and we'll talk through what it does, what it's got, options, and things like that. So I'll give you a quick walk around now. Uh, it's quite, it's reasonable mileage. I think it's about 60, 70,000 miles. Um, so it's it's typical of what uh, you know an enthusiast is going to is going to have in their MGB unless they've got a tuned engine already or a modified head and things like that. So this is the kit. So what we aim to do was, um, there'll be two kits, one, two intercooled kits, sorry. So one intercooler kit will be for the late car like this one, and there'll be another intercooled kit for the early car. The hot sides, that's a turbo and a downpipe, will stay the same between them. So the non-intercooled kit, which effectively you've got a boost pipe comes from here up to the throttle body here. That'll be the same for both cars. So the non-intercooled kit will be the same, but the intercooler kits will be different because of the radiator position in the two cars. So the late cars with the radiators back here, we've chosen to route the intercooler piping down and just under the, to the valance, where we have a intercooler sitting under the, um, under the valance. I'll just pop the camera under so you can see a little bit more. So it sits here and the pipes come through and under and the pipe sits underneath the um, the arm. So the arm is the lowest part in the car. We did this so that it's easy to mount and it mounts on existing um, points under the car where the sort of cardboard shield would normally go under the car here. Um, in terms of the kit itself, we've been uh, selling this part of the kit, the EFI kit, for probably 11, 12 years now. So the inlet manifold is obviously bespoke to us, got a name on it. And it's designed from all the experience we have with the A-series EFI kits we have. So it's a very, very efficient high flow intake system. Running a 50, 50 millimeter uh, throttle body, we'll talk about that in a little bit later. So that part uh, we've been selling for a long time. And that kit comes with the wiring loom, which you can see, um, which integrates into the original fuse box on the bottom two fuses. So the red one is permanent 12 volt, white one is switch 12 volt. It's, it's just all plug and play as much as we can. So the taco plugs into the feed, which normally goes to your uh, to your coil. Our loom comes out with this um, connection called fuel pump. So that's a single 12 volt wire that our ECU distributes back to the fuel pump. We can talk about that in a minute as well. The coil bracket we have mounting on the same um, inner wing position as the original coil. And where we can with all, all of our classic AFI kits, we'll do it so that you don't have to modify the car, you know, the drill drill holes, chop bits off, all that sort of thing. It's just nice to try and work with what's there. So you'll see, you know, we've lost the distributor, lost the distributor drive. So we've got a simple bung in there, which um, closes all that off, creates a lot more space. It makes it a lot cleaner. We've got a late generation coil pack here. Um, these are bespoke leads made for us by Magnico in the UK. That all comes in the kit. All the wiring comes in the kit. Um, what else do we have going on? The trigger kit again. It's the same for the EFI kit only or the EFI turbo kit. The turbo kit will only come with the EFI kit. We're not selling it separately. It's, it's a full package. Um, and it's just done that way because it works. It's all integrated together and um, you, you'll get the best out of the system by running it all. So that trigger boss, there's a boss in here bolts onto the uh, the front of the original damper. This wheel's adjustable and that's your crank trigger there. We need water temperature for the ECU to do its cold start and its safety features. So when it's cold, the ECU will automatically add more fuel into the system. The idle valve will open a throttle to give you a nice steady idle valve. Whichever kit you get, that comes in the kit as well. So the hot side of it, we call it, it's made from schedule um, pipe rather than tubing. So it's a thick wall stainless 304 um, pipe. These are very thick um, T304 stainless flanges. And the turbo itself is a Garrett. So it's a genuine Garrett. It's a GVC 2300 series um, and we decided we, again because of what, I, what we do with the A series and the limitations of in, internal wastegates in OEM turbos 
all of these kits will come with external um, high quality turbo smart waste gates and they'll integrate into the downpipe system so on this one it comes from behind underneath the um, throttle body back around the system through the waste gate into the downpipe so that's the downpipe there and it means all of the kits will come with a, um, a choice of it on the non-intercooled cars you'll have a five pound spring in here the intercooled cars will have a seven pound spring uh, but you get the box of all the springs so if you want to go further that's obviously not a problem the gbc 2300 will support well over 200 horsepower very very easily probably as much as 250 without too much stress so it's a very versatile turbo it's a good size for the 1.8 liter because it spools up just over 2000 2200 rpm so you get a nice swell of torque from nice low range which is what the mg car needs really it needs torque that just pushes along rather than you know the outright power is there but you don't need to to rev it to get to it other features we have on our inlet manifold system is we have obviously got the brake servo up here this is a little uh, vacuum takeoff which goes to the uh, rising weight fuel pressure regulator and tees into the forge motorsport uh, dump valve on the uh, on production kits this will be up closer to this part of the kit and then also on top of the um the manifold we have a this is a three bar map sensor with an incorporated air temp again to a bosch bosch parts very high quality you know um, magnetic um crank sensors same with the water temp and the air temps everything is very very it's it's got to be reliable that's one of the things and that's a bosch element fuel regulator so we have a tps um sensor on the side so the the calibration itself is map compensated tps so the nice thing is you know specs of all these engines are going to be very uh, will vary slightly or, or greatly if someone's got a modified head with the calibration being determined from the map sensor as well as the TPS, if the engine draws more air, it'll add more fuel. So it's slightly compensating and a bit more forgiving in that, in that aspect. Uh, you can see under your carburetor, you don't need any plenums or boost compensators. We come straight from the intercooler or non-intercooler as it were, into the throttle body. We've got two injectors here, which we fire twice per cycle to atomize the mix. And then from there, you just um you get very cool you, you obviously got cold air cold fuel that combined with a map ignition is why we can run you know in reality we could run quite high compression on this engine but being eight and a half ish to one as a standard mgb very very safe for what we're doing with it and this is one of the benefits of this kit over other um supercharged kits out there is the ability to add the fuel just before the cylinder head and it makes the world a difference you know you can run we run quite high ignition advance on this system the uh the engine itself on this on our demo core we have not touched it's 70 70 000 miles say it's had an oil change put iridium spark plugs in it gap the um gap the rockers straight to the dyno test it so we've no idea what the condition is of the valve seats or the piston rings but we wanted to do it as a test of what the average customer could expect to do doing exactly the same thing and um, so we ran eight and a half pounds of boost in it i made it just about it just 140 horsepower 150 foot, foot pounds of torque which is what you really feel when you drive it um so yeah it's standard head gasket no decompression nothing if you follow some of our a series um adventures you'll see on on the supercharged rotrex a series we'll run just over 10 to 1 compression because we have this same injection system and it's intercooled. You can control the spark. You've got nice cold air coming in, which is what the A-Series needs. If you start adding decompression plates, you lose what the a, what the B-Series and A-Series like. They like the piston quite close to the cylinder head to generate the squish. That's what that bathtub shape is all about. So they get the mixture forced into the chamber to burn it. And this one, just the turbo kit just acts, acts like a power adder. So, um, yeah, it's spent a few days on the dyno, behaved itself perfectly, drives lovely, cruises lovely. We'll do some driving videos fairly soon on it, so you can see what it's like in the car. Um, 
and uh, yeah we'll we'll just keep putting videos and information out on it so what the dyno testing did show was the limiting factor which we thought would be the case based on the 20 years we've been doing a series is the camshaft the camshaft once you get the four and a half thousand rpm is really restrictive we can we've tailored the um the calibration so it holds the power on to six thousand rpm it about 8.2 pounds a boost adding more boost to get more power you can it'll do it you, you know we could get to 12 psi and get you know 160 horsepower but your gains per boost in reality all, all you're doing is making heat and you know, that's that's no good for the engine it's not efficient so the thing to change re in reality after the kit if you want more power after doing this is the camshaft than the cylinder head um i'll put a link to our website on the bottom of the video we've got a 276 degree turbo camshaft for these engines which will be engine dyno in fairly soon we've got a turbo specific cylinder head coming out um we we'll probably have two a couple of versions of the heads and one for the really big power like i said these things they'll be capable with unleashing the camshaft will unleash the um the potential of the engine we'll get it's got a potential for way 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 over 200 horsepower quite reliably because the the b block bottom end the block the crank the rods are all pretty strong if you're going above 200 horsepower we'll be offering a rod and piston combo to suit the turbo compression nothing really low like i said we run nine to one compression um but you'll be able to then push 250 horsepower plus but 200 horsepower utterly reliable as a daily driver this one that is at 140 it's just really nice feels very modern free revving loads of torque um so what else have we got with the kit we've got uh like i say the wiring's all included you get all of the fuel system all of the all of the um, the plumbing we've got an idle valve here which has got a um a boost diaphragm in so the boost from the intake can't go back up the diaphragm uh, back up the valve and out of here where the air under idle comes back through that's all included you get all the fittings the, that this is the boost gauge that all comes with it yeah and all the wiring is literally drop in and plug in like you see if you go around the back of the car the other part you get included with the turbo efi kit as well as the efi kit is the high pressure fuel system which neatly hides away underneath the car back here so where the second battery would be on a six volt car we supply the train the fittings and that high pressure swill pot so there's a high pressure pump that sits in that in that um swill pot so that's fed from the su um su pump which fills that pot up and then the high pressure pump delivers the fuel up the existing fuel line to the fuel rail and then we've got a return system back that then goes into the joiner pipe on the fuel tank to the filler neck so it's all really neat and easy to um to put together the single wire i talked about right at the start of the program um which had fuel pump written on is the one wire that goes to the uh to the high pressure pump in this system in the ecu so if you put turn ignition on the ecu will prime prime the fuel pump over two two and a half seconds if you leave the ignition on it'll stop priming but then when you go to start the pump will start running again so it saves having the fuel pump clicking away all the time when it's um when it's sitting with the ignition on so all of this is included in the kit as well this car has um our two and a quarter inch mandrel bent exhaust system as well so that's a single box mandrel vent system um again we'll probably do further development with this car we'll probably put the 276 cam into it uh, and probably a hot head so then we'll be pushing more power so the two and a quarter inch system is again capable of well over supporting well over 250 horsepower so a lot of the things we've done to the to the kit future proof in case people want to build really big power engines in the future but they also suit being dropped on to a 70,000 mile um you know standard engine as it is and produce torque from just over 2000 rpm with all that latent capacity built into it so then probably the next video we'll do will be a driving video and we'll show you what it looks and sound like sounds like thanks for watching